Syria is memorializing the people that fought for them and they army. You know, they oppressing us. Why are we celebrating Memorial Day? Why are we sitting here barbecuing and getting American flags on Memorial Day? What's your name, bro? Wait, Say it again. Jared. You said Jared? Jared. Come on. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Listen to this real quick. Because everybody thinks the Bible is a white man book, don't they? Jared. Don't they think the Bible is a white man book? It's not, though. You think it's a white man book? You think white people wrote it? You said what? I said, do you think white folks wrote this book? Bring up! Because we're reading from the 1611 King James Version Bible. That's right. They say the white man wrote this book. The white man did not write this book. That's right. But hold on, read this. Colossians 2 and 8. Listen to me real good. Come on. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Read. Beware. He yeah. said beware, right? You know you walking down the street and you see a beware of dog sign, right? What is that letting you know? When you see a beware of dog sign, what is that telling you? It's telling you, yeah, don't come on, don't come in this uh, vicinity because a dog right there. So Paul is telling us, the Israelites, he said, beware. Go ahead. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Through what? How you become spoil you? Go ahead. Through philosophy. Through philosophy? Go ahead. And vain deceit. And vain deceit. Us celebrating Memorial Day, that's a vain deceit. That's philosophy of this world. Saying, look, all they fallen soldiers, let's memorialize them. Because what? It's like 4th of July, 1776, America, America fought for their independence. Gerald, in 1776, what was black people doing? What's going on with you, bro? Come on, come a little closer, man. Are you familiar with history? A little bit? All right, in 1776, what was black people doing? Bring it up. Do y'all know? Because we got emancipated in 1863. They was fighting for their freedom. Yes, we was enslaved. So why are we celebrating these pagan holidays? It don't make no sense. Get Baruch, is that it on that? Right now. Come on. After the traditions of men. After yeah. the traditions of men. We celebrating these things. You celebrate Chris, what's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, all right. Jeremiah, my, my son named Jeremiah. So it said, you celebrate Christmas, right? Freedom. The birthday. Right, Memorial Day. Do your parents celebrate Memorial Day? Like this Monday, y'all yeah, be having all your cousins, aunties, all that old right on the grill, right? That is following the traditions of men. Now our forefathers didn't give us that, th give us those things. Right. right. Go ahead. After the rudiments of the world. The rudiments of this world, man. That army ain't fight for us. Right. We be joining the army like this is our country. This ain't our country. Right. Celebrate Christmas right. like that's our holiday. Right. is. What is the pigmentation of Santa Claus? Is he a black man or a white man? White man! That ain't our image! Why are we celebrating that? Right. That's the traditions of men! Memorial Day is the traditions of men! You know. And not after Christ! Not after Christ! Give me Baruch 4 and 5. Yeah. Said not after Christ. What color is Christ, Jeremiah? Do you have a clue? See, you don't know, but look, they always pay him as what? A Caucasian man, right? He's black. How you know he black? Your grandmother told you? All praise to the most high. Come on. Baruch chapter 4 verse 5. Listen to this. Listen to this. Be of good cheer, my people. He said, be of good cheer, my people. These are God's chosen people. Oh, the right. 12 tribes of Israel. Oh. These are the chosen people of God. That's you and you. You fall in the line of Judah. American black. Right. This the same this the same lineage that Christ came from. You with me? Come on. My people, the memorial of Israel. No, my people be of what? The memorial. Good cheer. My people, the memorial of Israel. Be of good cheer, my people. He said, be of good cheer, my people. Go ahead. The memorial of Israel. Now you memorialize Israel. The memorial of Israel. Be of good cheer, because why Christ is going to come back and destroy these nations. Right. right. You got to understand that. Give me Revelation 13, 10. Hey, ain't you tired of us getting shot down in the streets, bro? By, by who? Who killing us, man? I know you're probably familiar with the news. How old are you? 14. You're 14. All right. Who be shooting us down in the street? Who? White man. All right, so the white man, right? Police is, right? 
be shooting that down. But guess what God said? Look, look at this. This justice, bro. Come on. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Yeah. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led the blacks and Hispanics into captivity? Slavery. Who led them? Who took black people into slavery? White folks. Who you say? All right. The Caucasian man, you have the Caucasian man, the African man, the Asian man. All these nations that was round about us took us into captivity. Read them. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He that what? They shoot us down in the streets. They got to get shot down in the streets. This is what the Bible is saying. Revelation 13, 10. Hey, y'all digesting this? That's justice right there. Give me Sirach 10. Sirach 10, 16. Because about to show y'all, dealing with that memorial. Watch, watch what the Most High say about the memorializing of the nations. Bring it out. But they talking about uh, memorial. Yes, uh, this is Memorial Day for the fallen soldiers. They ain't fight for our freedom. Why are we memorializing these people? Sirach so chapter 10 verse 16. Bring it out. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen. Come on. And destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. Read. He took some of them away and destroyed them and have made the memorial to cease from the earth. God made the memorial of the heathens to cease from the earth. So why would we memorialize the heathens? Wait, you know? When God made it to cease from the earth. I'm telling you, we're not supposed to be celebrating these pagan holidays. But now, since we dealt with that, what's your nationality? You don't know? I'm about to show you. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. I'm about to show you. You're about to learn who you are today. You just not no black man, no African American. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 But it shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God He said look Jeremiah If you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God Where can you find the voice at? The Holy Bible hey, Come on right. Because you ain't thinking we in church You know grandma be trying to drag us in the church I ain't going to no church Because they be teaching us so We don't identify ourselves in the book Come on To observe To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is curses good thing or bad things? Bad, right? He said, if you don't listen to what's going on, these curses gonna come up on us. Right, give me 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt. I'm about to show you what Egypt is. Are you familiar with the Israel, uh, Israelite history? When Moses, your know, Moses came out of Egypt? Huh? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? You about to leave, what's your nationality? Huh? You black. Bruh, we are Israelites. That's, that's, what the, right. that, that's what the last teacher was telling you. Bring it up. You Israelite. That's what you are. We sit here teaching you the whole time and then you said, I'm black. That ain't your nationality, bro. What? You from the tribe of Judah. Yes, yes right. Yes. Just everything going over your head, bro. You gotta take this stuff serious. Yes, yes, yes. Because guess what? The, these other nations, they want you walking around and saying, I'm black. I'm African American. You sleep. That's why they don't respect you. Give me Proverbs 327. Yeah. No, I think yeah. it's 326. Judge, I want you to listen. I want you I, before you go, I'm gonna show you something. Read that. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 26 yeah. For the Lord shall be thy confidence The Lord is your confidence man We ain't, It ain't no confidence saying you black It ain't no confidence saying you African American right. It ain't no confidence saying you a nigga right. No, your confidence is in the Lord of the Most High right. In the words of the Most High right. And the word of the Most High is telling you If you want to try to do the you saying you black You ain't black bro you gotta wake up and listen. What's your nationality? You an Israelite! Yeah, you know what the Bible is telling you, bro. When you walk around here and people ask you what's your nationality, you gonna say you Israel. Hey. God is telling you that, bro. God brought you over here to listen to that. He trying to wake you up and show you something. You know what I'm saying? Can we sit around getting high on, on the um, Palmer sign, on the Henny? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Looking for women. Right. You know, trying to run trains and all that. Going in the club. Right. Trying to be in the straight eights and all that. God said, no. Nah, I want you to wake the hell up. Right. And show, he said, give me Isaiah 58 and 1. 
Man, we gonna get to that Deuteronomy 2868. Hey, stay right for a minute. Bring it up. Isaiah 581. Cause the Bible, was, bro, we, bro, we, we did some, look, bro, we didn't did some stuff that I can't even say on the camera, bro. Bring it up. We didn't did some stuff. But this Bible came out, we're like, damn. That's a true book. Come on, read that. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Read. Cry aloud. God said, cry aloud. Wait. Go ahead. Spare not. Don't spare the feelings of your people. Don't when you got partners, you like keep it one, keep it a buck with me. Right. Bring it up. Don't spare no feelings. Your homeboy gonna tell you what's real and what's straight. This love right here, bro. I'm telling you straight. You gotta wake up and clear your mind, bro. Wait. Come on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is loud, Jeremiah. Don't trumpet make a loud sound. Yeah, cause look, the oppressor tell us, hey, Lou, that, uh, take that bass out your voice. You know when you call and pay bills, yes, my name is sir. Uh, you try to take the bass, try to appease the white man. No, hey. I'ma speak with full confidence hey. and be bold. Hey. Come on. And show my people their transgression. Now my job is to show my people their transgression. Right? Go ahead. And the house of Jacob their sin. These are this is the house of house of Jacob. You are the house of Jacob. Right. You are the house of Jacob. Right. Now hold on, give me Revelation 114. Let's show him real quick. We're gonna show you. Cause who is this? Uh, right, a depiction of Jesus the Christ. But look, we about to bring it out of the Bible. I know your grandma said, did she read it out of the Bible to you? She did some of it? All right, come on, give me that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Oh, that one. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So it means the revealing of Jesus Christ. When somebody coming around and telling you, hey, we don't know what Jesus Christ looked look like, the prophets, our forefathers, is revealing who he looked like. Right. Come on. Which God gave it to him to show unto his servants. He said God gave it to John to show it to his servants. The servants are the people on this side. These right. are the servants of the Most High. Right. Right. So guess what? We out here showing you guys the depiction of Christ. Come on. Things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Now jump to 14. Verse 14. Verse his head and his hairs were white like uh, wool. What's your nationality? All right, so he said what? 14. His, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So now his head and his hairs were white like wool, Jeremiah. You see that? Come on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Do you know why Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire, Jeremiah? All right, give me Genesis 49 12. We're about to show you why. Because you might think it's like some Cyclops or something like X Men. You know, more to come back or something like that. Like he an action figure, or, 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 or a superhero, which he is a superhero. Wait, come on. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Oh, is Christ's eyes red? Read it again for him. His eyes shall be red with wine. Why is Christ's eyes red? <laughs> Say it again. Yeah, his eyes shall be red with wine. He drunk wine. Right. Come on, go back. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Listen good, Jeremiah. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You know. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Go ahead. And his feet like a two fine brass. What's the color of brass? All right, Penny. What color of a penny? He has a brownish color. Right. Right. So he says feet like a fine brass. Christ's feet was a brownish color. Right. But come on. He about to tell you what this brown was. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. You burn anything in fire, what color does it become? Right. It come what? Right. It come black. Right. You said what? Right. You said gray. If you burn some ramen noodles, man, what color? It, it, do it turn gray or black? Right. Black. Yes. Yes. That's what you right. said. He said, Christ is a black man. He dark skinned just like you. Yes, That's right. what he's saying. So when you see your brother, guess who you're going to see? Christ. Bro, you know, look, bro. You, you, dang you. Look, we God's chosen people. What's your nationality? Israel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What tribe you from? Judah. You got any questions, Jeremiah? You ain't got no questions. All right, you gonna celebrate Christmas? 
Oh, yeah, see, look, you, you keep it 100 with me. You like, look, you like, I'm a sucker. Look, you use all them toys, all them skills. Like, see, I want the PS5. I want Madden 2K21. You all, you, you play video games, don't you? Right. But, guys, did you know Christmas was in the Bible? Did you know that? That we shouldn't celebrate that? Come on, give me uh, Jeremiah. Oh, you already got it. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. This is good. See, look, Jeremiah. Ain't your name Jeremiah? Come on, Jeremiah, they, they call him the weeping prophet. And he wrote the book of Jeremiah and Lamentation. Hey. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Now, what's your nationality, Jeremiah? You're Israel. So he said, hey. house of Israel. He's talking to you. Hey. Come on. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Now he's telling you, learn not the way of the heathen. The heathen are the other nations. We read earlier, we're not supposed to memorialize the heathen. He caused them to cease. Come on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. He said, don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Come on. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathens worship the stars, the moon, the sun. Are you familiar with, uh, what's the thing called with the signs and stuff? Horoscopes yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Taurus, Leo, and all this stuff. Zodiac, Zodiac signs. Zodiac. He said, look, don't deal with that. The yeah. heathens deal with that. Yeah. Don't deal with that. Come That's on. right. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the heathen are vain. Come on. For they're one, foolish. Come on. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Now, right? Now, when you got a Christmas tree in your house, where your mama go get the Christmas tree at? Jeremiah? Huh? Yeah. The store, right? But guess what? Back then, where do, where do you find trees at? Real life trees. Where do you find them at? Huh? Say it again. I don't let. But you might go to the a forest that's full of what? Tree. Right. Read that again. For one cut of the tree out of the forest. For one cut of the tree out of the forest. So he going into the forest cutting the tree because guess what? In the in the um 1400s or even way back then, it wasn't no Walmart. You know, it was it wasn't no um Family Dollar things of that nature. Come on. The work of the hands of the workmen Come with, on. with the axe. So what? Don't you use the axe to cut down a tree? So he, this man is going into the forest. He got an axe and he cutting down a tree. Come on. They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it. Meaning what? Decorate it. What? How do they decorate a Christmas tree? Right now? Yeah. With lights. Don't they have golds on it? Silver. Bring it up. All that wrapping around with the, the, the little sparkly stuff. Come on. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move and not. See, they get a tree stand and you put it on there so it don't fall over. Come on. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Now, that's it. Now. You just heard Christmas in the Bible, right? But he said, learn not the way to heathens. Can we celebrate Christmas? No, we can't. Why? Because we who? Uh, we the Israelites. Oh! Oh! We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.